This is about a fucking man who got shot in Tottenham. This ain't about having fun on the road and busting up the place. Get it real, black people. Get it real. And if for a cause, if we're fighting for a cause, let's fight for a fucking cause. You got pissed me the fuck off. I'm ashamed to be an empty person. Because we're not all gathering together and fighting for a cause. We're running down for a block or a TV show. Dirty TV for a That's my favourite bit. It was just hurtful to see all what was going on and they say they were fighting for a cause which was this boy getting shot unfairly by the police, wanting answers. That was not how we were going to get answers. But then having said that, I think this riot wasn't just about Mark Duggan. What had happened was Mark Duggan was what they call the straw that broke the camel's back. And I think there was a lot of underlying tension building up for a long time with the banks thieving and the the politicians thieving and the, the student um, fees going up and all of these the pensions being reduced and people being told they've got to work an extra 10 years before they claim pension. All these mad things that were happening. Do you think that they are listening or what do you say? They're not getting dirty enough. And by saying dirty enough, Take off the suit, the white shirt and the tie, put on your hoodie and put on your trainers and get your asses out there. Get dirty with the people. That's what they need to do. Get real. People were there because they knew it was history in the making. It's so easy to be drawn into it without realising the implications involved, if you get what I mean. So they did a peaceful march. They went up to Tottenham Police Station peacefully asking for questions and they were ignored for over five hours apparently you put yourself as being a mother that's carried your child for nine months and raised it and grown it and all whatever's gone on in life you've been a part of that child's life and you're sitting in your living room and you see your child's picture up on a screen saying he's been shot and you think to yourself that's my son you want answers They've got something called PR, public relations, police public relations and, 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 and crime support officers and what have you. Whether he was right or whether he was wrong, which none of us know because he's not alive here now to say what he, why he had a gun or he wasn't given the opportunity to explain, which I thought that that's what our legal system was all about, being given, a, you know, you're, you're innocent till proven guilty. So when a man's bad, if he's mixed race, if he's bad, he's black. If he's good, he's, he, he comes under the white category. And I got very angry about this whole riot issue because everybody was labelling it as a black fan. What are your feelings now? now that the riots are actually over? If you want my honest opinion, mm. I feel it's the calm before the storm. And that is my honest opinion. I really feel there's a nervous calm out there. People are dealing with it. People are trying to get over it. But the, again, I'm sorry, but the government are making a lot of silly mistakes. You've got to have unity in your community for everyone to... We're all different races, denominations, cultures, all, all come from all different beliefs and, and walks of life. And we've all got to live together because this is God's earth. It's not mine, it's not nobody's. It's God's earth. And we've all got to live together on it.